Check out this elk shed. Pretty cool. It's like a spike, but then he's got two little extras. He's also kind of like a sucker ball. Kind of cool. I thought this might be the coolest find of the season, and then I found this. So lucked out and found this giant old ancient shed in the timber the other day. It is a really big bull. The G1 measurement, 20, G2, 21, G3, 21 as well. He's got 31 inches of mass. I taped him out. He's over 17, like, like 178 and six eighths roughly. So uh, almost a 397 bull if he had a 40 inch spread and the same on the other side. Pretty nuts. In today's vlog, I'm going to go check a couple trail cameras, see what I caught on camera this winter, and just kind of share with you my trail camera tactics, what I use, and why they're so valuable. So let's uh, let's go check some cameras. Made it to my first camera. This is a Browning Recon Force 4K, and I actually don't shoot on 4K that often, just because the file sizes are so stinking huge. So I have this set to 1080 video. Set it up in an aspen grove, just on the edge of an aspen grove. There's deer and elk in here, so let's see what we got. All right, made it to the next camera. This one is in a lockbox on a tree. The reason I put them in lockboxes is because people will steal them, people will mess with them, as well as animals. I've had bears just chew apart trail cams. So this one, the little motion detector, has got kind of a dent in it. It's probably from like an elk or something like pushing on it. So it's pretty smart to have them in lockboxes. Let's take a look, see what we got in this one. Made it to my third and final camera. And quick thing about these cameras, again, these are Browning Recon Force 4K cameras. I have them set to 1080. They take four AA batteries. I run lithiums in here, and I'm easily getting nine to 15 months of, of usage on these things. Like I've had this one out the last year, and it was still shooting when I walked up to it. And it's in a fairly high frequency area, so it's, it's taking video clips almost daily. So. These things have worked really, really well for me. I'm not sponsored by Browning either. I pay re full retail for these. Um, this is just what I use and what I like. So, that said, let's take a look at what's in the uh, final camera. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. This is what we waited for 